I can't do that yet.
Open that. Watch yourself, traveler. I'm simply hungry to spill some blood. Just give me an excuse. Welcome, traveler. I hope the day finds you great fortune. <laughs> Do stay for a bit if you need a rest. Oh, cutting right through the formalities then. And if it so happens that we have in our possession this thing you seek, why should we just hand it over? I'm afraid if you want something from us, then we are gonna need something from you. Why do you? Oh, but frankly, it comes down to reality. <laughs> we live in a cruel world where many simply take what they want without any consideration for others. I see this as an opportunity for us to work together. Mutual gain. Glad you agree. It's true, we, we, we do have this relic, and it can be yours in exchange for some trivial assistance. <laughs> the things I'm sure you will have no trouble undertaking. Speak to my friends Tybald and Jordan. Once I've heard back from them, I shall give you what you seek. Is there something you need? That's locked. Blessed welcome, traveler. Welcome to Barrow Home, traveler.
a blessed welcome, traveler. A blessed welcome, traveler. I'm so pleased that we can... But of course, speak to my friends Tyvald and Jordith if you have not already. Or perhaps eliminate some foul chthonic spawns that plague our world. They are a threat to us all.
That school's not ready. I am thoroughly pleased to hear that you've been mingling among our people and finding a place for yourself in our little society outsider. However, not all are as willing to accept our master's visions for this region as you are. Yes, our protector, our guiding star through the tumultuous chaos. Once we were lost and dying, the bog threatened to consume us, but the Wendigo spirit showed us another way. Now, the Wendigo spirit is ancient manifestation of life itself. It has protected us for generations, all for a little harmless worship. You describe the uglier side of things, yes, but do not take the flesh crazed as representation of the greater picture. They are but a symptom of a world that is sick. We are the true chosen of Ravager. We have been uplifted, as can you be. We've always had uh, 
tense relations with the nearby gathering of witches, but so long as we stayed to our sides of the bog, we generally had no issues. <laughs> In many ways, we are just as much outcasts as they are. And so we've had somewhat of a mutual understanding. Yeah, but there is one among them known as Laria the Hexer who does not respect our little truce. Unlike her sisters, she lives within Ugdenbog itself, and from it she weaves eldritch magic in order to subdue our master's plans. In fact, it was her who damaged our totems. High time her meddling is ended. Find the den of this witch and deal with her for good. You've returned. Are you ready to complete our bargain? You chose to negotiate with the thieves. That is your business. All that matters is that the fetish is back in our hands. Now, for our end of the deal. In now forgotten times, our kind used to travel to Ugdenbach in order to perform dark bindings at the altar of Ratosh. The altar has not seen use in decades and now lies forgotten on the northern edge of the bog. However, it is a place where the veil between realities was at its thinnest. The altar of Ratosh is a rare place in Cairn where one can pierce the veil. I've marked Ulgrim's keepsake with the runes of seeking. Place it upon the altar and a way into the void should be revealed. Whether you find your friend alive on the other side or just his tainted bones, that I do not know. But the Void may offer you more than just salvation for Olgrim. Once it had served as a means of traversing great distances, and not always with predictable results. If the Cult of Cathan had opened rifts near Malmoth, then perhaps you can use the Void as a tunnel. While I cannot promise you success, it is perhaps your only chance of bringing back Olgrim and reaching Malmoth. Seek out the Altar of Ratosh in the northern reaches of Ugdumbag, beyond Barrelholm. I wish you luck. Now that you have what you came for, I was wondering if we could do more for one another. Ever since the Ugdumbog fetish was stolen from us, our wards have weakened and some of our protective spells have even failed us. To put it simply, we are exposed out here, and that makes us uncomfortable. We have plans to restore our wards, but for that, we require new materials. If you are willing to assist the Coven, with compensation for your efforts, of course, we will require some more exotic ingredients. First, we require Venom Gaze Bile from the Basilisks in Ugdumbog. Only the mature ones will do, as the venom must be extra potent. Secondly, and this one may prove to be a bit of a risk, is the horn from a Leaf Mane Alpha. Those brutes are fiercely territorial, so be careful. Lastly, we will require a rare herb known as the Ugdum Bloom. You may find it growing out in the bog, but sometimes they grow atop Ugdum Bog golems. Will you do this for us? Do you have the materials we seek? Perfect. These are just what we need. You continue to be a service to the coven, for which we thank you. But though we now have the materials we require, there is a threat that not even our wards will be able to protect us from. Here to assist us? Deep beneath Ugdenbog, a vast network of caverns and roots traverses the entire region. We call it the Undergrowth. Centuries ago, a single seed sprouted roots within those caverns. It grew to become a massive creature known as Silvaria. She has become twisted and rotten after all these years. Her black roots spread out across the undergrowth, breaching the surface and marring the land. It is only a matter of time before she reaches the coven. She must be pruned and new plant life be allowed to thrive within Ugdumbog. 
Find the entrance to the undergrowth up in Ugdumbog and deal with this threat. Good. Perhaps in time new plant life will sprout from her remains that brings a healthy balance to the ecosystem. Our matron, Melostria, will be pleased to hear this news. In fact, she has been inquiring about you. You should speak to her when you get an opportunity. You will find her below us, at the center of the refuge. She is usually tending to the ritual circle we will need to restore our wards. Our matron, Melostria, has requested... Gloradia speaks of your accomplishments as if they are meant to impress me. Tell me, young one, are you prepared to do what must be done? At least you are determined. Very well. One of our own has become tainted by the false promises of the Wendigo Spirit Ravager. She has lost her way and now weaves dark rituals within Ugdenborg. A witch as powerful as Janaxia cannot be allowed to fall to the manipulations of the Wendigo. All attempts at reasoning with her have failed. Only one option remains. Seek out Janaxia's hut, hidden underneath one of the great trees of Ugdenborg and eliminate her. It appears Goradia was right about you. Here, a little gift in return. Yes, I'm beginning to see your purpose in our coven. You will be the catalyst we require to restore our protective wards. But are you prepared for what that entails? Not far from the refuge, within Ugdenbarg itself, the coven had prepared three ritual sites in order to focus our energies toward the focal point, the rune circle you see before me. With the destruction of the fetish, the circles have become unstable, turning into unintentional spirit traps. If we are to recreate the warding ritual our sisters used decades ago to protect this place, then we must cleanse the circles. That is where you come in. My magic will protect you against the fiends, but you will be the one to banish them forever. I don't know who you are, but please leave.
Have you dealt with that pest yet? Good, very good. Avenger will be pleased to hear of your service to the cause. While the Ethereals and Chthonians are both our enemies, none discuss the Great One as the Chthonians do. Slaughter them by the hundreds, and you shall earn the favor of Ravager. The time for deceptions is over. Today, we gather to honor the great Wendigo spirit and prepare for his glorious return. All of our efforts, all of our sacrifices have come to this moment. Blood shall spill and we shall feast upon flesh. Today is a glorious day for us all. Blood shall spill, and the Great One shall feast. We're all but servants before him.